Hey, it's cool here if you don't know. Welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. Let's go to 40 Below Fridge. Alright. And of course, there has to be a mandatory ice level. And this is it. Most of the surfaces will be slippery. And as you can see, the CG is right there. But we're going to need to come back to that later. Let's see if I can remember where things are in this level. You're gonna be a tricky. Yep, using using the word tricky as a as a noun. You're going to be a tricky. God dang it. There is a heart there and I want it. There we go. Oh geez. There's also a diamond there. Definitely want that. Ah. So that's how I get it. I just bait the um, spiky dude out of the way. Oh geez. Okay. It's a good start to this level. I probably should have um, broken that block, but um, too late now. <laughs> so now we're going to see two more um, status effects. First of them being Ice Wario, back from Wario Land. Uh, I think it was in two. God dang it. And there's also Snowball Wario. Back from Wario Land 3. Now let's see. Oh jeez. remember which way is forward. I think the door is forward. And yeah, this just leads to a dead end for now. I'm gonna be seeing a lot of snow Wario in this level. Okay, now we end up with this part. This part which has a few different paths that we can follow. And one of which leading to a diamond. Oh geez. There's not enough room to uh... really just jump on top of him, so I'm just going to lead him over here where there is enough room, and smack. Oh jeez. Hi. Well, that was unfortunate. What's even more unfortunate is now that we have to um, do this again, but this time crouching. So we can get our first jewel fragment. Well, there's Keezer. And that is the way forward. So before we go over there, we need to get to get Keezer. Ha! I have outsmarted you and your tricks. I don't know how someone can 
outsmart Trix because Trix have no intelligence of themselves. But I did it anyway. And I can do it again. Haha. -ha. Nothing over here. Just a death end. Yeah! Oh, you just turned, didn't you? Okay. Well, can't just break through that, but it should be no problem for a super butt stomp. Now, let's see. What do we gotta do? Not that. But I think we're on the right track. It's a matter of being a little closer to the wall. I'll get the green one. And throw it like that for the red one. And we get 1,000 monies. Alright. I think we're good now to... Well, not to go through this path, because it goes to nowhere! And also, I'm not looking at my screen, because my... ...wires are all tangled on everything. It's pretty much a trick of being a good Let's Player, is, um, good wire and cable management. Of course, you can't really say that that's the only trick, because that would be a silly thing to say. If you can manage your wires and cables, you'll be an excellent Let's Player. Uh, well, that's not really how it works. Seriously. Come on. There we go. Spiky icicles all over the place. really gotta get that cold checked out. Haha, <laughs> get it cold because <laughs> when the yeah. oh, I'll stop now. Ah Of course I had to be just perfectly aligned with uh one of those freaking icicle drops. Yikes! I think the trick here will just be to ignore this guy as much as possible. There we go. Whoa! I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Whoa! You are not allowed. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I would appreciate it if you didn't sneeze all over me. Thank you. Yikes! Ugh. Forgot about that. Okay. The important thing is, now we're a snowball. As a snowball, I can do this! Which didn't seem very productive. Why are there icicles everywhere? Also, how do I get that? I'm sure you saw that chest there with the jewel fragment. Oh, jeez. How did I not get hit? Oh, come on! But that should give you a hint as to how we're supposed to get up there. The idea is not so much to find a slant going from right to left, more, uh, more so than getting a slant from left to right. Oh, 
open up this door. And still, I feel like there's something that we haven't seen around here yet. Particularly, if we go back to where we were... Let's see if I can destroy that guy. Aha! There we go. No, I guess not. Can I just charge that? Okay. I have to roll. And that's how you... Rude! That's how you get that. And unfortunately, I don't get the 500 uh, coin bonus because uh, I got knocked off of the... Uh, got knocked out of the room. In case you haven't noticed by now, this room does loop around. I think there are a couple of rooms that loop around like that in here. Okay, let's go be a snowball. I want to build a snowball? Doesn't have to be a snowball. Now remember not to kill this guy, because uh, these um, snow monkeys, I guess you could call them, they do drop money when you kill them, which means that they don't respawn, which means that if you kill them, you miss out on this uh, diamond. I think it'll work from here. No. Huh. There we go. I go right from the edge. Then I can drop down and get the diamond. Then I can also kill you and reap the benefits. I think if I go from the same slope, but roll... Then I should be able to get through those um, destructible blocks. Provided I can do this at just the right time. <sighs> it's all about timing. And goodness knows, you all know that when it comes to timing, well, results can be quite variable. But I did get it. We got the diamond. Hmm. From here... That can work. Aha! Gotcha. Trying to do a super butt stomp here to get these guys down. Oh, this is just going to be all kinds of annoying. Not not just 53 kinds of annoying, not 72, all kinds of annoying. But, looks like I was able to get through. We are unencumbered unencumbered to get the um, third fragment. Now, if we get snowballed from here, make sure not to hit any ledges. We could hit this ledge. end up at the frog timer. At uh, frog switch, rather. But I feel like we've still missed something. Maybe if we get to, um... If we get here with the snowball, we can break through that.
Ah, I missed. Yeah, I think that's the only ledge I can use, too, to get, uh... Get out of snowball form. Okay. Once more, for real this time. Ah. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the save state. As with something like this where I have to run back this far in order to try again, it's more or less where I draw the line. And the very next try, I get it anyway. Alright, so we have the entire... Um, the entire Jewel Stone Keystone right now. Jewel Stone Keystone Jewel Keystone Key Jewel. So, we have 3 minutes and 30 seconds to get the CD and get out of here. But this section is pretty much entirely optional. Uh, at least I remember it being entirely optional. It could or could not. Dang it! Break the thing! Okay. And there's going to be a diamond here, which will take us over 10,000. No! So I guess those are killable. Well, at least if we have to come through here a second time really fast... I don't have to worry about these spikes. Now I have to avoid everything. Yikes! Oh, come on! Well, that's why I made sure to clear everything. Because that way, I can just charge right through. And yeah, just remembered that since they don't drop any money, then they can respawn. So yes, we do still need... Still need to worry about um, those spiky things. I'm getting a bit worried about my time here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the uh, CD. Okay. Yeah, I did this wrong. Also, I'm gonna break this, just in case. Uh, how do I get up there? Okay, 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 okay. We're going to be really cutting it close on time here to try to get the CD, but I think we can still make it. Getting hit. Eh. Get up there. Okay, now that we're up here, sneak under here, 
carefully because we don't want to get hit by that spike which will force us back down into the um, catacombs get the CD get out got everything don't need to do it again okay and the gold crown up to 70 80,320 I think we are doing just swell. Yeah! Three keystones down. And into the pinball zone we go. It's kind of an interesting area. It's not so much pinball more than it is... Um more or less based on Pachinko. If you don't know what Pachinko is, well... Let's call it Japanese Pinball, just for convenience sake. Also, go look it up. So the idea is to take these balls and throw them into these machines. And they'll spit out a 50 coin and also cause this to count down. Now these first ones are pretty easy. And number three. This room is pretty much just to introduce the mechanic. The uh, the gate block will drop a 500 coin when it disappears. And it generally will not disappear until it becomes until it gets like into inside your viewport. So you don't have to worry about um, not being close by. This is going to give you the chance to get close enough to actually get it. Now these platforms here will disappear after a, uh, after a moment. They will reappear. It's just a matter of uh, using them quickly and uh, sparsely. Ah! Of course that would have had to happen. There we go. But you notice that uh, opens something up. There seems to be a passage behind it. Climb up here. Aha! It has opened up a path to the gems. Jewel key stone fragment. Whatever you want to call it. Nothing but knit. Huh. There's also something here. There's also this jerk. Alright, let's see what puzzles the game has reserved for us this time. So the idea is you'll catch fire, come over here, hit that block, bounce back, Hit this block, bounce back, hit here, and destroy the fire the firewall. But don't hit that block. And just waste your time. Also make sure that you're facing to the left when you start. As I was pointed out before. They've simplified how Fire Mario, uh, how Fire Wario works, where you only bounce off walls three times before um, becoming a hot mess. Yikes! I 
Okay. Then you have left two. Boom! Hey, one left? Where'd the coin go? Oh, okay. Now, where is the last ball? Aha! I see you! <laughs> and it just kind of falls in on its own volition. I believe that um, in normal mode, the um, is it the blue ones or the red ones? I think the red ones don't actually spit out anything. You kind of wish that the music was a little faster paced. care of that one. And we're able to come down here. And what's down here? It's another... Um, every time I try to think of what the heck I'm supposed to be calling it. It's a jewel fragment. You know what? I'm just gonna... Super throw you over there. As I require your assistance. <sighs> Maybe there's another one. If not, well, we can respawn them. Not overly worried about it. Oh, there is another one. There are at least two more. I actually be able to make it from there. There you go. And after we burn off uh, our trim, it's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, that's why it's a little tricky, because I have to do what I've been trying to do. There we go. I gotta rush, because those will eventually fall down there, and we can't get them if they fall. The only living thing that you can actually throw into the water and it will survive is Professor Awesome. Because he's just awesome. Aha! He has one left. Which is this one over here. work this off before um, going to the exit, because I want to be able to get the 500 coin. You shall perish! And also I shall accidentally roll on the slant and lose my chance at 150 coins. Great. But we're going to get the CD. That is a given. Okay. 
Time for some more pinball action. On pachinko action. Racking up the points. Rack up the moolah. Whether it's open or not, well, it's just going to stay on top of it anyway, so... Don't need to really time it. Oh, actually, you can't kill it that way. However, we can do this. And in fact, we must do this in order to do that. Alright, time for some more bonus... bonus areas. As for a bonus that uh, is not particularly useful to us in our current uh, unharmed state. I forget how to do this. I know I've done it before. Come on back over here, you. Okay. Maybe if... Ah. Maybe if I just do that and somehow catch him on the rebound. You can stay there. Just sit in the corner and, and think of uh, think about what you've done. If you haven't done anything, well, do something and then think about it. Anyway, we don't get any health out of that, but we do get 500 coins. So that wasn't a complete waste. I think that's about all there. Well, again, we have to be able to get down there somehow. One of these blocks is going to be breakable. Probably the ones in the middle of these two more conspicuous looking blocks. Unfortunately, no longer getting a bonus because I got hurt. We'll do the best that we can. Yikes! Hi there. I'm just gonna follow you. Hope you don't mind. I believe the last one is all the way up here. Swish! <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's Keezer. Yikes! Oh, well, hit for a hit. Haha! -ha. I don't think there's anything good down there. I'll check anyway. Yeah, it just brings you back here. And then we just go back in here. We're back where we started. Time to hit the frog timer! You got five minutes. Oh, that's a long time. You got five minutes and 15 seconds, but don't think this is going to be a cakewalk. The fact is, we still have two pachinko tables to do. Ow. Okay, so all the balls are here. Okay, that's a little much here with the sparks and the balls and everything. Okay. The first one goes into here. Thank 
Thank you. Ah. When you're in a hurry, never take your hands off the controller unless you pause the game first. Even if it's just to scratch your face, you never know when something's gonna pop out at you. Okay. Stop being superposed. There we go. So pretty much getting these last two is going to involve exactly the same thing in two different directions. Of course, it closed right at the last second there. But doesn't matter. The important thing is, we can now leave this room. It'll lead us right into Keezer. And right into our next and I believe final. Oh, geez. I still get those. But yes, into our final pachinko table. Might have to jump over. No. Okay. I can still do that from over here. Yes. Let's break these, which will allow us access to toss into the things. Okay, two down, two to go. Where are the last balls? Okay. We found them all, just a matter of getting them to the correct location, which apparently I can't do. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Yikes. Okay, let's stop getting hit. That's always a good idea. Stop getting hit. It's almost as good of an idea as stop hitting yourself. Oh, come on. Uh, do we have everything? Oh, we're still missing a... I hope it's on the way. We're kind of heading toward the uh, end of the level. Well, this is a problem, because we got one, two, three, but not four. Ow! That's our first mandatory redo. We are going to unlock the path forward, but... That's the last level before the boss. And as you can see, because we're missing a quarter of a uh, keystone, we can't actually move forward. So, I guess I'm gonna have to look through this level and see if I can find it. I see your tricks game. Aha! This is pretty much the last uh, 
pinball slash pachinko room before the frog timer. Well, let's get it going. Just for the heck of it, let's see if I can get a better time than last time. Definitely not going to worry about score. I generally only worry about score if it's uh, my first time through. Watch what I'm going to do. Because those balls are supposed to remember where they are. Okay. It did exactly what I was hoping. Throw that over there. Dang it. Yikes. Yeah. Get along, please. Thank you. Uh, get over here, stupid. There. Okay. No need to worry about the little coins that they drop. The entire point is to get out of here. Why did you go that way? I think we are making a little bit... Pick it up. There you go. We are getting a bit of a better time than uh, our previous attempt. Not that time specifically matters. <sighs> I'm glad it doesn't. These guys are the most annoying. At least in this level. And in many levels that they find themselves. And I think the worst thing in any video game is feeling like you're basically being thrown around the level like a pinball. The only game that I want to feel like I'm being thrown around the level like a pinball is if I'm actually playing pinball. And I don't mean this level. Be a little careful because I only have three hearts left, but we're almost out of the woods. And one more slant down into the vortex with the missing quarter of jewel stone. Key fragment stone words words how dare you words all right now we can open the boss door so let's go do that Also, I completely wasn't paying attention to the name of, of this boss. And it doesn't say there. You know what? Cuckoo Condor. Okay. Door's already open, so I don't need to do the animation again. 
let's just get in there and see what's up. Pretty much, what you want to do is not get caught by that thing. You do want it to drop, however, because we want to hit it up into a Cuckoo Condor at the top there. Ow. While avoiding his, uh, his attacks. Okay, now this is probably going to get annoying. You have to grab the eggs that it lays before they land on the ground and throw them back up at the condor. Or otherwise it uh, hatches into one of those things which explode after a few moments. And quite frankly, you just don't want to have too many of them uh, flying around the level all at the same time. But we managed to get this first try. We get a nice pair of earrings, and three more treasures, but we don't get to keep the treasures just yet. As previously, those treasures will fly into the gold pyramid in the middle and light up the um, marker for the ruby passage. Clear! Okay, so I think that is going to be it for this video. So next time on Let's Play Wario Land 4, we start on the Topaz pa Passage. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.